Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. Look, if you're looking to start your new LLC or you started a new LLC but you still don't have no money, okay, I'm going to suggest some of the top net 30 you may want to consider to help jumpstart your business credit and to possibly put some money in your pocket, okay? Now, in terms of uh, doing this, the reason is, is because a lot of people... They struggle, you know, they want to start a business, but they don't know how to get the money. So I'm going to show you some of the easiest LLCs, uh, excuse me, easiest net thirties you can actually get that can possibly help you. Now, the first one is Uline. All right. Now with Uline, they report to Dun and Bradstreet. All right. Now, many of you all know, I'm not a big proponent of net thirties, but at the same time, if you're on a shoestring budget and you're trying to start your business, then I would definitely tell you to look at some net 30s that easily to get and that offers like bulk product. Now, the reason that I'm saying you line is because you can get products in bulk and then you can take those products in bulk and you can take them over to Amazon and resell those products. That's right. Somebody wants to say hello. You say hi. Say hi, guys. Okay, you can go. So, uh, taking those products, taking those products uh, from Uline, once you get those products, take them over to Uline and selling them to over on Amazon. Now, one other thing you would do, and I've made a video about this before, you want to set up like maybe a YouTube channel, okay? And create a video like there's technology you don't even have to show your face you know there's technology out there where you can just demonstrate the product or whatever now here's the thing about it by you demonstrating that product on that product you got from Uline up front with no money all right what ends up happening as people find that product that specific product that you're actually demonstrating you can send them over to Amazon. Now, you also want to have an Amazon affiliate link. All right. The reason you want to have an Amazon affiliate link, because if they don't buy that product from you, but they buy a refrigerator or something else, you still going to get commissions. OK, so that's uh, one good way to actually uh, jumpstart your business. Uh, by getting free products, well, not free, getting products up front and wholesaling them on Amazon and then becoming an Amazon affiliate and marketing those, marketing those products, right? So that's the first one. Then you have JJ Gold Business Supply, okay? Now, this is really here, especially for uh, people that's in the... Um, in the hair and beauty niche and stuff like that because with uh jj gold uh beauty supply they offer net 30s now the criterias or better yet let me tell you who they report to now they state that they report to dunn and brad street and experian okay but you have to be in business at least 30 days with them now here's some of the other stuff you have you have to have a bank statement you have to produce your driver's license to them. You have to have a utility bill, okay? And if you are uh, new, if you're new, they want you to pay 50% of your, of your uh, account up front. Now, for those like, well, Houston, I don't have no money. It's the whole purpose of me looking at this video. Calm down because I have some um, hard money lenders that you can possibly go to to raise a couple thousand five four or five thousand dollars okay so just calm down i got you on that now like i said again since they're reporting to your uh business credit file uh being able to get net 30s and stuff to start selling product if that's the industry you want to go into or if it's just you trying to get some extra money now again them being able to give you a net 30 account and having beauty uh supply products again carry them back over to Amazon, okay, and selling those products on Amazon. Now the next one is Granger, okay. Now a lot of people uh, know know about Granger. They know it's an easy account. But one of the things I would tell people, the easiest products that you can get from Granger would be in the clearance section. So if you scavenger the clearance section, 
okay you would uh, find more products and much easier to get those products now Granger reports to Dunn and Bradstreet all right so being able again to take those products and those net 30 accounts and putting them up on um putting them up on Amazon or eBay you know eBay is another good one or some of these other platforms uh, that you can actually list your products and stuff to. You have Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that. You know, but being able to get products in hand and not paying up front for the product, like I said, with the exception of uh, J J and J Gold, to be able to raise money for your LLC. All right. Now, here's another one: Home Depot. Okay, if you're able to get a Home Depot car or if you're not able to get a Home Depot car, if you have a family member that has a Home Depot card, if they're willing to work with you, having them to get you a couple Visa uh, Visa gift cards. Now, again, so that they Home Depot account won't get shut down, they would actually have to buy a product or two from Home Depot and then get add the Visa gift cards to it. Now, I would say make sure that they're getting the products from Home Depot uh, clearance section. And the reason I'm saying that, so say that you wanted to uh, make some money on Amazon, all right? Going into Home Depot clearance section. Home Depot, uh, I was looking it up, Home Depot had some Tide Pods, you know, the washing Tide Pods or whatever. So they had some of those. And in their clearance section, it was like 15 for $6. But Amazon was selling them for, I think it was almost double the price. So you being able to take something like that and put it on uh, Amazon, you can even put it on offer up, you know? So there's other places you can sell different products and stuff on, all right? The, the key is being able to scavenge it through the clearance section for stuff because you'll have a better opportunity, okay? Now, here's another thing, if you, starting your LLC and you have challenging credit and you can't get funding, then one of the things you may want to consider if you have a sibling or a loved one that you can do, feel that you can do business with, adding them on to the company and allowing them to apply for uh, business credit cards for you, okay, or business lines of credit. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you guys and this is a big key in terms of this weighs more than uh, a, Dun, a Dunn's number or a Paydex score. Having a website and a corporate email. That's right. Having a website and a corporate email. If you don't have a website, don't have a corporate email, click the link in the description. If you don't know how to properly set up your business, click the link in the description. But having a corporate email and a website, a lot of these... Net 30 companies, they will check your website. They will, when you're putting in an application, if you're putting in Gmail or Yahoo or what is that, Comcast or something like that, uh, AOL, when you're putting in an email like that or whatever, they look at you as if you're not a serious business. So you should have a corporate email. All right. So, like I said, if you want a corporate email with website and hosting, click the link in the description to check it out. Now, here's one more that I always talk about is Quill. Now, with Quill, again, they're starting to change because they got uh, hip to the one and done. Now, with the Quill one and done, you used to be able to get an account. And then what happens, Quill has a component in it. People will use that component of Quill and liquidate the account but wouldn't pay the account back, okay? Now, because that, that it, it has a component where you can use a shoestring budget, all right? Now, here's the thing about it. Now, Quill, they're changing the game. They want you to pay at least $100 a month for 90 days, paying it full, off in full, before they offer you a net 30. Is it still worth it? Mm, maybe. Maybe. It, ju it just depends. Now, what I was talking about finding uh, some hard money lender if you have bad credit for funding, then you probably want to check with like uh, Uprova. They offer up to $5,000. You have Funjoy. 
they offer up to $5,000. This is no hard pull on your credit report. And Indie Land, they offer up to $5,000 with, with bad credit and no hard pull on your credit report. Okay. Now, if you have any other questions besides, if you have any other questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description. Schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.